Leading Learning defines the VLC in its glossary as a collaborative digital learning community from the book, The Virtual Learning Commons. It defines it as the online force of the Learning Commons, a digital learning community in which the whole school participates. It is not a library website which only provides a one-way stream of useful information. Instead, both the instructors and the students of the school collaborate to establish the VLC as a place where individuals and groups are actively learning, communicating, and building together in real time. This participatory community of learners is powered by software which allows many contributors and it is as public or private as the school wishes it to be. David Lurcher's article, The Virtual Makerspace, illustrates the VLC learning shift from consumption to creating and introduces sample VLC templates for elementary, middle school, and high school. As in the first template, VLC Home and Information Center, you will see the following headings. Learning Commons Information, Draw Them In, Learning Commons 2.0. The other VLC headings that you can see on the site give format examples also. Here are two well-designed VLCs that engage students to participate at an elementary and high school. The VLC involves and engages the community. Key descriptors for rethinking Learning Commons virtual spaces are 24-7 access with centralized support, learning needs of each student considered to select digital online resources, VLC current updated regularly, VLC online spaces safe, flexible, and designed to accommodate a variety of learning activities. VLC online workspaces include individuals, small groups, and classes as students participate in co-planned learning experiences to help attain curriculum outcomes. Share and discuss questions from the learning guide with other staff members. How does or can your VLC shift from a library website to a collaborative learning community? How are you addressing the learning shift from consumption to creating in the VLC?